Thank you so much for joining us on the three-hour news show. It is so great to have you, and we cannot wait to hear your expertise. So from a criminologist's point of view, what irregularities do you see in the case of Brigadier Riosua? Yeah, there are some irregularities about the case because at the beginning, the case just been informed to the public, to the public, three days after the day of the incident. Mm -hmm. And in that uh, announcement, it was said that the incident involving an inspector general and the incident taken place in the official house of the general. So the irregularities just identified since the beginning the case become public issues. I see. And how do you think the government is responding to this case? Yeah, I think the government, especially the Indonesian National Police, has taken a proper reaction against the case by setting up a special team of investigator mm -hmm. to reveal the true story about the murder. And the Mr. President also urged that the investigation should be conducted transparently. Mm -hmm. I think it is enough to support the reinvestigation. But also, this is a very interesting case because um, it sheds light on one of the main institutions of the Republic of Indonesia, which is the one that is supposed to protect the people. And from there, many speculations and conspiracies have, of course, emerged. And according to you and your knowledge, has a case like this ever happened before in the history of the Indonesian National Police? The case of shooting out between police officer has happened several times, but the shooting a police officer by a general, general it is the first it is the first case. Hmm. So would you say this is actually something that is within the culture itself? I mean, this is the first time that such a high profile position is being put in the spotlight. But if this has happened before, is this um, is this not new? You know, but for a lot of people, this mm -hmm. seemed to be so shocking and new. Mm -hmm. It seemed to me that the most uh, influential factor is the position mm. of the general. He can command to his subordinates to do anything because it is such a culture in Indonesia that uh, an official official is uh, considered as their own capacity. Their private. It is the main factor that is. Hmm. Uh, now, Professor, why do you think this case has captured the attention of the public? Is it because the irregularities found, or what is it? Yeah, the irregularities of the case and become a viral in the social media. Mm -hmm become the interest of the public to know what actually has happened. Yeah. Especially it's in full, it's in full. So it is an interesting history, history. Because for the public, the crime incident is one of the topic for the conversation. And it is nice an interesting conversation. But other than making nice and interesting conversation, you mentioned the position as something that is being the point of spotlight and interest there. Never before heard such a high profile or high position uh, being involved in a case like this. What do you think, uh, does, according to you though, is because hierarchy was mentioned as an obstacle in the case, 
and there's a lot of talks about positions here. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, the case is firstly was difficult to be solved because the power of the inspector general within the organization of the police organization. Mm. He has uh, such a power that can, or at least he think he can manipulate the mm. system. So he influence others to believe about his cover, cover up what the story. I see. Now, um, I'm, I'm actually uh, curious, Professor. Uh, in your opinion, what do you think is the suspect's motive behind the case? Sorry? In your opinion, what is the suspect's motive behind the case? Uh, up to now, it is difficult to estimate what is the motive because the sus suspect said there is something happened in Magelang and he will reveal the motive before the court. So we can uh, speculate mm. what the motive is look like. Mm. So you're saying that because we predict that the court is going to be closed, of course. So we are going to, do you, uh, think, do you think we're going to have to wait until a public statement is made? Because up until now, everybody is asking for the motive to be revealed. Mm -hmm. But at least there must be a necessary precondition that uh, make general angry. Something mm -hmm. important for yeah. him. But what it is, just wait until the, the trial. Hmm. I mean, it's certainly interesting to think, uh, to, to mention that something, you're right, perhaps that something must have triggered the Inspector General to take such a big risk. And the, I think the most frustrating part for the general public is that you're right, we can only estimate and because it has been said that uh, the motive will only be revealed later in court time. But according to you, what can you suggest as, a, uh, you know, as an expert in criminology the government can do or the teams can do uh, to resolve the investigation of the case? Mm -hmm. In the future, I think to prevent the case happen again, mm -hmm. the government should strengthen the external oversight institution like the police commission. Mm. Because the police commission do not have authority to summoning, to questioning police officer. They just re receive information from one side. They cannot scrutinize whether the information is right or, or false. Mm -hmm. So the they must they must uh, strengthen the, the the police commission. The other side is that uh, there must be a rule established within the police commission. If the case involving police officer, the investigator remains to Yes, because at the when general time, the investigator rank is lower than Sambo. Mm. So there must be a rule that if a crime involving police officer, the investigator would be highest rank. I see. Like that. It's only interesting. Okay, a last question, Professor. Now, do you think that Brigadier Eliezer will be given leniency since he was only following orders from his superior? Sorry? Do you think it's that... Freeze. Yeah, do you think that Brigadier Eliezer will be given leniency since he was only following orders from his superior? Yeah. Depend on the evidence. If he just uh, follow the comment of his 
comment mm -hmm. it can be used as a way to get a lenient punishment even it is possible to get free to set free well, it certainly is interesting because we're here still watching this case unfold, this investigation. We hope for the best from the government as well. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for your insight, Professor Muhammad Mustafa, um, and for your time with us in the TRN News Show. It certainly is interesting um, to be able to dig deeper from a different perspective. Thank you so much.